Hi everyone, welcome back to a brand new season of Let's Play Transport Fever. I am Jay Forgot, and before we jump into stuff here, I just want to uh, apologize for anyone who followed my channel or watched my videos, and um, we kind of just want radio silent for months. Um, life events happen, um, and I, can get, I think we're really... Um, Stop me not only the life events, but um, one of my videos got flagged for copyrights, and then I was kind of like, yeah, I'm just done with this for right now. I just have too much going on, and I can't focus, and um, this wasn't good. Um, most of my stuff that has been going on, most of that is simmered down or whatever you want to call it. Um, so I'm back with a brand new series. I'm sorry I won't be able to finish that last epic challenge I tried to complete earlier this year. Um, unfortunately, those save files are corrupted. Um, just is what it is, I guess. Uh, but I'm here with a brand new commitment of trying to get this channel off the ground, running, you know, full steam as we go. Uh, first thing is, I want to get to the settings of this map. So we are playing on uh, the world size is medium, terrain type is medium, our start date is 1850, um, our difficulty is medium, and our format is one by one, so basically a square. Um, I think that gives me the good, you know, a good medium sized challenge because I believe um, you know, the flat terrain is way too easy. The hilly can. You know the the hill and the difficulty if they were both set to like um, I don't know if it's called not hilly or mountainous I don't know or even the um, the difficulty hard would obviously come probably be the only more challenge up in here but a square makes it a little bit harder for us to um, just run like a main line through the entire map and then disconnect everything up so a square makes that a little more difficult gives me a little more of a challenge. Um, and if you guys would like to play this seed, um, the seed is called New Beginnings, capital N, capital B, space in between the two words. Um, and that's where we're going. Now these are obviously the city names that you're looking at are not the original city names that generated. Um, I'm not going to tell you exactly what, why, what the names are all, like what they all have in common. I'm let you guys figure that out and I'm sure some of you guys will figure that out right away. Um, so as we get into it here. Um, so what are we going to do in this series, this is our, this, this season, this, this map itself is going to go for a couple of seasons, I'm thinking maybe two or three, um, as each one I have a kind of an objective broken down. The first objective that we're going to have in season one is we're going to try to get every city connected up with passenger trains. So when you start a game of Transport Fever, or you may, you guys may have a different couple strategies, so some of the strategies that... I have seen that, that I'm going to get into what one I'm actually going to use is I've seen ones where people will have a they'll just set up a train off the beginning it'll do passengers or it'll do a good or whatever and that's kind of how people get started um, I've tried that a, co a couple times in the past and I've had a couple of failures in the past of not being able to make my money fast enough and it just it it just doesn't do well um, I kind of have a method that has been foolproof um, that I've been using for quite some time and that's what I'm going to use up here so um, I haven't really ever seen another youtuber do it so I so I don't know if there's one out there or not but obviously um, it's the way that I use it starting to one of my games it's it's been proven to not have to really take out any more loans sometimes in the beginning I might have to do one or two to get that first train going um, but it's been proven not to have to take out loans it's been proven to be able to very pay my loan quickly um, and get and kind of like start the the foundations of the empire that I'm going to build upon. Um, so what is that method that I use? So basically, in these games you have like six good, um, well you have six good types total, you have three of them are commercial, three are industrial. Um, three of these goods are just like a, like one simple chain and it's done, like stone to construction material, uh, the livestock or, or wheat to, to food, and the last one, off the top of my head, there it is, uh, uh, the the oil to fuel, um, all three of those are, are simple, you know, connect to the city, boom, done. So that's, so that's kind of how I get my every game started. So I started looking at the map, I already kind of um, took my time, looked at the list. This map is not the easiest um, when I was looking at it. For simple here, I'm, hopefully my mouse is working, um, but um, it's not good because you have this big break in here where nothing's connected. You have another break here, this mountain range, where nothing's connected. You only have this one way out um, through here, and kind of same thing here because these goods they don't connect to there. You have like this one bridge that connects this over here, but it's just like the connections are just not. And I don't like to waste a lot of money in the beginning because things are already tough as it is. So I don't really spend my time spending money on roads and stuff like that. I try to. 
um, get my money back as soon as I possibly can. So every game I always start on pause. So as we go here, let me check my time real quick because I'm not really going to try to stick to my normal 20 minute episodes. I'm kind of just going to let them go, but I kind of need an idea when, okay, we've gone too long and we need to kind of insert a break. Um, all right, so I have my list of uh, kind of what I want to do here. I'm going to put that in front of me because I don't want to have it off to the side. All right. So the so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start here, up here. I think this is the one. If I'm right, yes. So this construction material right here is is kind of in a really good spot um, compared to where its other resources are. So first thing I'm going to do is set this up. Now the other thing in the game is be careful with is make sure you don't actually click passengers and the freight because I've done that plenty of times and unfortunately in this game unlike other games. Um, if you make a mistake and go to delete it, they don't give you your money back. They actually take more money away. So that is a pain. All right, let me see how far I can get that away. Actually, that's good. I like that. All right, so we got that good here. So we're gonna get that good going from here. All right, so we got this stone quarry up here. All right, how many people are gonna be connected to this? I think I'm just gonna do Poseidon and, oh no. I am not. This hurt me. All right, so we get the smaller here. All right, and then we need a depot. All right, so our first line that added up here is going to be straight from that quarry down to making construction materials. And I like the color co color coordinate my stuff. So you'll see me do that a lot. Sometimes I might forget, especially when we get later in the game, I got like a lot going on at one time. Um, all right, we got, um, all right. no, 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 we did, I want, all right, um, all right. I keep making mistakes here. We're gonna fix this real quick because I'm already off to a bad start. All right, I didn't mess anything up. It just didn't uh, fully. So we gotta look. We gotta drop this off. Um, ideally, 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 we need to make sure that our trucks are running full most of the time, and they spend very minimal time being empty. Um, being empty can't generate as money. Being full all the time will generate the max amount of money. Um, so we're basically gonna drop these construction goods off. Unfortunately, well, it's not actually. We don't. Our city's not that big. So um, buy a stop. Yeah, I can put a stop right there. Alright, we're gonna be able to put a stop right there, and then if we go back to our route that we messed up, add it, boom, drop off. So, so from our start here, you're gonna see we're gonna get we're gonna load up here, we'll carry down here, we'll drop off, we'll end up reloading there and driving the whole way back and unloading there, and we will only have this little bit here that we're driving empty. So this this route will make us quite a bit about quite a bit amount of money. Now I can finish renaming it. All right, construction two parties. All right. All right, and to get it started, we'll one two. Come on. Oh, you know what? I probably should have only done one. I think in the past I usually do one, but it's kind of late now. All right. All right. And I could eventually run this to Poseidon 2 and run that amount empty, but that's not going to generate like any income at all. All right. So with that we got. All right, we're going to hook up Atlas next. I'm going to find what oh, down here's a stone quarry for that one. All right. They said we're doing this all in pause. We basically want our entire, the entire setup ready to go, and we're gonna upscale. And you're gonna see how I'm gonna upscale it then. I may just because it's a let's play. I might take a loan out to upscale it quicker. Um, usually in my base game, I usually let it run to pay off my loan real quick, and then get enough money to get my first transport line going. But all right, and then before I make that connection again, let's find a drop off point. Oh, that works. 
Alright, new line. And this one should make us major money once it gets going. It's going to take some time because it's a long way for it to go and the vehicles are super slow at this time. But once it gets going, we're going to make some money, people. Alright. to Atlas. Color code it. Thank you. Uh, and I got to add a depot. And since I already bought two, I might as well make it to the new thing. All right. So the next one we got to do is we have Aries. Where is the stone for Aries? Mm. I'm trying to find this. I have it written down. Doesn't mean a whole lot. I could have mistaken it. Stone, 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 stone. Or maybe I meant Apollo. I think maybe I meant Apollo. But no, because that's right there. That's not going to generate a lot of money because I don't know if it actually tracks this. Or just tracks from here to there, which is not that far. Oh, our mates. You know, we're just going to take that one off the table for right now until I figure that one out. I mean, I'll figure that one out in between episodes. So, all right, let's look here. We got... The next one. We got Gaia and Persephone. Oh, all right. So we'll get our next one here going. Great. And. Oh, wrong thing. That took a while to load. this one up we still need a you want to make sure that we try to get as many yellow buildings in range as possible which is not going to be easy It's just going to be right there. I don't know why it's giving me so, so many difficulties. All right. I'm going to go up here to Persephone. We're going to do the same thing. Get two stops down. All right. And then we're going to add two more tracks here. We're going to go from here. You can't see the symbols I'm like, did I do this backwards? All right. So that's the first one. This one's gonna suck a little bit for the time empty, but it should generate a lot of money at the different distance from here to there is quite quite a great distance. Alright. Construction. Good. And the next one. Since you guys are on the same thing, I'm going to make you a little bit darker and hopefully it blends not badly. Alright, cool. Alright, so there's two more there. We just need to get another depot. So our construction's hooked up. I have one. I still don't know what that one's about, but we'll figure that one out then. All right, so the next one we're going to hook up is the food. We're going to get some food going here. So we're going to first one, Atlas. Okay, 
this we got a food I'm wearing this one's the one I'm gonna use right I think I'm right yes that's the one I'm gonna use Distance. Uh, so first, one I'm going to hook up is here. All right, that one's going to drop in Apollo. All right, and now we want to make sure we cover the blue buildings with food. Trying to make sure they don't go off. Like, like I know they're already going to be traveling through that area, so I don't want them to go off on the side road or anything like that. So I'm trying to keep them in the main road. So we're gonna make a stop here in Poseidon then too, which this one's gonna it's gonna make me break my rule, I can tell already. And we're also gonna be dropping off here in Hermes. Um, we're gonna probably use the same stop. Sometimes that's a bad thing, but I think in this one's not gonna be too bad. Um, but I know as the vehicles get faster, and hopefully by the time I'm, I'm out of the vehicles. Um, by the time the production really gets ramped up. All right, we need a depot. I keep... And we just need a two-stop depot. And two more lines. Oh, I didn't put any trucks on that one yet. Need this first one, Hermes. And then the next one. And then make blue side of Sorry, if you don't hear my phone vibrating in the background, it kind of took my attention away there for a second. And let's make you darker color green. All right. All right, so that's what we need to get, get the trucks ready to go. All right, we'll use one, two. Thank you for that auto save. Hermes, one, two. Side. All right, I need to get that Apollo one going. Up here it is. All right, and Apollo's going. All right, and then.
through line. Oh. And that one should make me a lot of money once that one gets going. up all right and last but not least we're gonna hook up the fuel all right so this one's a little bit difficult this one I could not get anything chained together it was just just not good all right so we have uh, is that what we're that's that it's great all right so first one we got going here it is you know what? I don't think I put any um, trucks on that. One quick, because I will forget that and. Oof. One, two. Alright. I'm just going to plop this down before I forget about it. Gonna go the whole We're just gonna use the same stop. So I don't think I'm using that list more than twice. So we're gonna use the same stop. Alright. And then I think I'm the whole way up here. There was just no easy routes with the fuel. Um, so all the routes I think I picked out are should are pretty far away and they should make me quite a bit of money. Let's get them hooked up again. Red for fuel. All right, and the next hookup is. All right, where are you at? All right, and we're gonna be hooking up. All right, so this one's not as good, but it'll do the job. Did I put? No, I did not. All right, I gotta put the fuel in that then. <laughs> All right, and then how well are you covering? You know, we're just gonna use the same one. I'm not gonna deal with it. I say I'm not gonna deal with it. I'm just not gonna be bothered by. Uh, being anal about it, I guess. Put the depot on the wrong side. One, two. And Poseidon. Alright, I got one more line I'm going to put in here. Let's see. It is here. Where are you getting the fuel from, though? Oh, yeah, this one's not going to make me money at all. Oh, maybe some money. It's just not going to make me. Um, I'm looking for like trying to get routes that make me more like a more than like a hundred thousand to start. Um, this is not going to be one of them. I think it just like I said I had so lack of op so little options, a lack of options uh, when it came to this one, and it's just yeah, it is what it is. There's only one thing going through that one. Um, all right, let's add you up. I 
think I just misspelled that. Alrighty. Alright, so that's all we're going to hook up. I had one more written down, but I cannot figure out why I didn't have that one. Or why I can't figure out where I was seeing that. There is nothing on that one. Let's hire something. I told you guys, I'm like, when I get all over the place, I'm all over the place. Alright, because we got two trucks on there. Everything's got two trucks to start. Um, you see the times here? Oof. Yeah. <laughs> um, we'll get to that in here in a second. But you see something like an hour, really? An hour? Um, but hey, but one thing for sure. If you see 60 minutes up there, I can guarantee you when that one's done completing its cycle, it's earned me the most amount of money. Alright, anyways. Uh, the Aries one. I have construction material going to Aries, and I can't figure out where it's coming from. There's stone there, but it wouldn't make me a lot of money if I transport it there. There's no stone here or here. I'm thinking maybe I saw something backwards. Oh, you know what? Oh. You know what? Can I upgrade this? I know it does not going to make me any money at all. Why am I worried about that? Oh, maybe it's from here. That's Apollo. I don't have Apollo hooked up though. Oh, that's right, because it says there to there. It's not going to give me money anyways. Alright, I'm going to keep going crazy why I wrote down Aries can have construction material delivered to it where it would be profitable, but I'm not seeing it, so obviously I must be losing a little bit. Because even if I go from here up through here, but drop it off at Aries, it's not going to make me money. I mean, it'll make me money go delivering it up. How many tracks are going here? There's only one. I guess I could just add it real quick. It's not going to be that. That big of a deal. Is there anything being delivered to Aries at all right now? It don't look like it. We're gonna add that real quick because um, I do like have a 12 lines going. Um, actually, it's a great spot. All right. And I know I didn't use up all my roots, so. All right, so we got your stone, right? Yeah, you look like stone. All right, and then up to construction material. And then down to Aries. And let's make the orange. Actually, there's already one orange on there, so I'll make it a darker orange. Oh, I was too busy trying to make sure I didn't spell Aries. I forgot the right construction first. Getting too excited, missing my keys. All right, done, done. All right, we got my 12 roots. Well, as soon as I had trucks to this one. There we go, one, two. All right, so everyone's got a root. All right, so before we hit play here and get going, let me check my time real quick. All right, I haven't been talking for too long. All right, so first thing we do before you go in here is I gotta check out everything where I have starting locations. So like here where the stone is, oh no, 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 sorry, wrong thing. The depot is what I need to keep an eye on. So the construction one, for example, keep an eye on it. Uh, the fuel, the depot, not the actual station. All right, so that's three of the starters. Let's see, fuel down here. And not the depot. Alright. We're up to five. That's six. Eight, nine, ten. I think the last one's all the way down here. Where the stone is. Seven, twelve. All right, we 
I make sure I did not miscount? Yes, we are good here. All right, cool. So we're gonna let this game start to play. And actually, since this is a let's play, let's speed it up a little bit. Um, and what we're looking for is we're waiting for goods to start being transferred to the depot. This is gonna let me know exactly when I need to add more trucks to the certain route, as I know the first stop will be that depot and they'll start carrying full right away. That's why I usually only start with one vehicle in each line, um, just because it gets that line recognized and started and I'm not wasting two vehicles that are just losing money and not have the potential, and they don't have the potential to make it anything. As for example, the one's gonna take an, like an hour of in-game time um, if I was playing on, I think if I was playing on standard speed, it would take an hour for that thing to sail through. Where one hour straight, almost for two hours straight, it would be losing me money. Um, so just being up. The problem with this having this many trucks go is the money's going to go faster. This is where I said I might have to take a loan um, to get the off the start. But the idea is to get these times down to like I think around like five minutes is where I usually like them to be because then as I upgrade, the time gets smaller and I don't have to worry about like getting rid of trucks and stuff like that. I just let the because the speeds will increase naturally in their own as we get better truck available to when we have better trucks available. Now obviously once I get to the part of the game where I start getting goods delivered by train, then those um, I will start deleting these routes and no longer be carrying by vehicle. As everyone loves to do things by train, so we still don't have any goods yet. It doesn't surprise me with the time. The shortest route should be the first one to recognize. So I'm thinking I'm looking at the time of that construction of Gaia should be the first one that recognizes still not there yet still not there yet so let's see just, I'm playing on the fast speed oh there is production it should be going any minute any minute we should have something in that terminal come on oh there's our first oh there it goes there it goes all right now we got the game recognizing all right so the, now we're gonna wait. Go. We're gonna wait till we have four of something, and before we buy another truck. Sometimes I just wait for eight, and I just buy two at a time, which is typically what I'm gonna do. Which I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna let the speed go fast until we have eight of something in a depot, and then you're gonna see me slow the game down, and I'm gonna start buying trucks. Go up to five. Come on, give us eight. Eight fuel would be great. Six. Let's say fuel's gonna be the first one done. Come on, seven. Get ready for the slow of the game down. Eight, all right. So the first one I see here is this beside in north. There we go. Buy a vehicle. One, two. Fuel to Poseidon. All right, so that's the first one. Then we Hercules here next. One, two. And this is not registering up, but it just could be part of the problem. So we're just going to buy them anyways. Um, we'll buy two. Maybe we'll get lucky and there'll be enough there when it goes. Fuel to Atlas. Alright, so stone. This one's ready to go. One, two, and who is this one again? Uh, construction of Hermes. Fuel I got. That one's still not getting there. This one's gotten there. Alright, cool. Uh, we'll do Gaia first. One, two. Oh. I said, the screen's getting a little messy right here. We're going to get Stephanie while we're at it. Alright. And then remember what I did is also the <laughs> other key factor. Um, Alright, these food ones right here. Oh, this one's not showing me anything. What's the deal? Uh, food to Hercules. But Hermes is registered. That's odd. Thing. That's the kind of stuff you can't afford. Uh, food to Apollo. Doing good. Alright. 
make sure your vehicles hook up there. We don't need this open anymore. It's just more clutter, more clutter. All right. I am concerned about this one a little bit. Um, oh, you know what? It's not even highlighting where it's supposed to be highlighting. What is this doing? Yes. Yes. Not registering at all. Do I have? I do have vehicles on this route. Huh. Is something out of range? That's obviously not out of range. You're not out of range. Oh, line usage, yes. Are we still on usage? No, over here. How? How, how is that possible? Are you being used for more than one line? No. Oh, we got a production. I don't know. I'll keep an eye on that one. You guys know how many vehicles I got on you. Is that still on two? It's only two. All right, you guys are getting more vehicles. Oh, you're hidden. I gotta move you. One, two. Carries. One, two. Numbers. All right, looks like you got plenty going on. Didn't mean to do that. So you got plenty of fuel going on. Let's get you some more people. Fuel to Hercules. Oh wow, they're really starting to go. So you can see what we're going, to, we're going to get going here. It's going to get a little boring as I keep micromanaging each line to get their, like I said, the frequency around five minutes. Um, and eventually, so it's going to take a while. Some of these to actually make me an income. This is going to my money is eventually going to run out adding um, adding vehicles to these routes. Um, so I'm and for a sake of a let's play, I may have to get a loan out. Usually, I just let these um, the routes start making me money, and then I start reinvesting that money to get all the t frequencies down to five to six minutes um, but as I explained um, that's not typically, that's typically what I do and I'm not recording but recording for recording sake I'm going to be doing that so um, I'm going to take some time micromanage these routes get the times down and be back um, once I'm done or close to being done you guys can see me finish up so um, until next time um, thanks for watching